friends, it's Miss Dina here again. We are going to do an activity that we can usually do in class in a small group, but you can do this at home. You can think about the book and tell it in the order of the story without having the pictures or the book. So, we're going to walk through the story. Who is the main character in our story? Yes, his name was Nicky. And what did Nicky want? Yes, he wanted a pair of mittens made out of snow white yarn. And who was knitting him these mittens? Yes, his Baba. But Baba didn't want him to have those snow white mittens, did she? But she did make them, didn't she? What happened after Nikki went outside? You said a mole? Yes, the mole was the first animal to find the mitten. He climbed into the mitten. Why do you think he climbed into the mitten? Because it was warm and cozy. Yes. Who was the next animal to climb into the mitten? Hmm. <gasps> the rabbit. You are correct. The rabbit. Who was the next animal? The hedgehog? Hmm. Who was the next animal? Was it the badger? What was the next animal? The owl. Who climbed into the mitten next? The fox. Who climbed into the mitten next? It was the bear. And who climbed into the mitten last? The mouse. And where did the mouse fit in the mitten? Right on the bear's nose. And what happened? Yes, it made the bear sneeze. Uh, 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 chew! And the animals went flying, didn't they? Yes. Did Nicky ever find his mitten? What happened to his mitten when he found it? Yes, it was big because it sh the animals stretched it out, didn't they? So I want you to practice retelling the story, thinking about all the e all eight animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight animals that fit into the mitten. See if you can do it. Have your parents record you and send it to me. Thank you. See you next time.